Speak of the devil to supersize and grow your business. Yes or no? Sharon Hornell from here, and today's idiom for supersize your business is to speak of the devil. This idiom's actually been around a lot longer than I thought. It's been around since the 16th century when it was prohibited to talk about the devil in many instances or good company or religions, etc. Because the devil apparently was first uh, brought up in Zoroastrianism if that makes sense. I don't even know what that is. But that's when they first introduced the idea of the devil being evil. Now, what it came to mean over time, this expression means, speak of the devil, you use it when people are talking about someone and then that person unexpectedly appears. Uh, I guess early on in my, my life and career, I learned that you don't talk about other people because sometimes they're standing right behind you or other people will gossip and tell them that you said something about them. So there's a lot of guidelines I have for myself nowadays. And one is, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. If you don't know for a fact something is true, don't say anything at all. Gossip can kill your business as well as your reputation in different in entire industries, actually. So why would you do it? Why would you gossip? Because gossip means... You don't know if it's true or not. You're just passing on information. And usually that information gets distorted and can harm other people. And we're here building our businesses to make the world a better place, not to harm other people. And that includes our competition, right? Because a lot of times we don't know what's going on in our competitor's world or business. So why would we talk about it? And talking about it just draws attention to them and makes the people we're talking to more curious. And then they go out and investigate. And maybe they decide to do business with them instead of you. Not a good move, not a good strategic move. Always speak kindly about yourself, other people, and everything, right? If you don't have anything nice to say, literally zip your lip and shut your mouth. I learned that from my mom. I mean, be friendly, and if you don't have anything nice to say or if something doesn't feel right, leave. Do something else. Go in a different direction. I'm curious, uh, I, I have stories about this that aren't really necessarily mine to share, but uh, like I said, early on in my career and in my life, I learned that you don't talk about other people, right? You also don't ask people questions if you're making assumptions and you don't know exactly if uh, something's true or not. I remember asking um, my first corporate job boss when her baby was due, and it turns out she wasn't pregnant. She had already had her baby. And so, like I said, we learned some of these lessons painfully, but... We need to learn them so that we're more aware, more self-aware, as well as more aware of other people and their feelings and how we interact and how we come off with them. All right. Love this. I, I don't know if I love this idiom. I guess I I hear it more than otherwise. People will say, speak of the devil as I appear. I'm not sure that's a compliment or not. Uh, so have an awesome day. If I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you use it? to grow and build and supersize your business. Have a great day. I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye. Not as the devil.